Hey guys, today I want to talk about an app that people have been asking about for a little while called Sync Thing. If you guys have never heard of Sync Thing, it's basically just this app that you run on two different computers and you pick a folder and then Sync Thing will keep that folder synced across all the computers that it's added to. So say for example, I have two different, I have a TrueNOS machine and a Windows machine. And I say, hey, if I make a change in a folder on the TrueNOS machine, I want that to reflect on the Windows machine and vice versa. Sync Thing is what does that. Sync thing is kind of a pain for people because of data, because of uh, permissions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a data set here. I'm going to call this sync data, right? I'm going to leave my generic preset just like that. And then I'm going to edit this preset and I'm going to open up the permissions for everybody. Actually, I'm not going to need to do that because there's no sub. There we go. So now that's, uh, that's wide open right now. So let's go to apps. Let's discover apps. Let's type in sync thing. Okay, we want to use the stable version. The enterprise I didn't have much luck with. Make sure your version number is correct. I actually had to refresh my catalog to get the correct version in here. So we're going to install this. And we're going to make a bunch of changes here. So first off, this is going to be running as root. We want to go host network. Uh, and our port is going to be 8384. So definitely make those changes. If you want, you can do um, a config storage data set up just for the purposes of this. I'm not going to, but if you wanted to just go into data sets and make another data set for the config storage for um, sync thing. But I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the additional storage. This is the important part. Um, this is going to be the data set that you want to share. And actually, so the data set that I just made is the data set that I want to share. So I'm going to come in here, say tank, right? sync data so if you already have an existing file folder that you want to share that's cool just make sure your permissions are good for it um, if you don't have one uh, use sync data so our mount path here i'm going to keep it the same just for ease of use i'm just going to call it what it is in my true nuts machine and then i'm going to install this okay so now it's running let's jump into my web ui so you're gonna get these big warnings um, the one thing I do, I don't want to now allow anonymous usage. I'm going to say no. It's going to say, hey, you should really set a, uh, a password. That's cool. I'm, I'll do that now just to show it to you guys. So I'm just going to use a nonsense password and username. You guys use a good one. It's going to ask me to now authenticate with that user and password I just made. And this is the main dashboard. You'll see the first thing it comes with is this default folder. And that's the first thing I'm going to want to remove. I don't want to use the default folder. I want to use the folder I just made. So in this folder path, I'm going to delete all of this, hit slash, come over here, scroll down. There's my sync data folder right there. That's the one that I added. I'm going to call this data. Actually, I'm going to just for, I'm going to call it data. Okay, we're just going to call it like that. Um, we're going to save it. Just like that. Cool. So now this is the folder on TrueNOS. So let's come over here to at home i'm gonna get uh, wrong link i'm gonna go to my github and i'm gonna put some files in this folder so the first file i'm gonna put in here is the base row that yaml so i'm gonna get the raw i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna go back to my trunos i'm gonna come into my shell i'm gonna do cd mount tank sync data and you'll see there's nothing in here so now i'm gonna put that in here and now there it is. There's my base run out YAML. Uh, so that's in my folder right now. So let's come back out. Let's come back in a sync thing. All right, so now let's look at this data. You'll see it says, oh, look, there's nothing in here. Let's do a rescan. Oh, there it goes. Just scan by itself. One file. That's 259 bytes. Perfect. Now let's sync this folder with a folder on my Windows machine. So I'm going to drag this over. This is my Windows machine. It's just a Windows box. I have in a VM. And this is the sync thing folder. Um, this is sync thing running on Windows. Now to get this, just go to sync thing. You just Google sync thing and get the Windows downloader. It's a zip file. Uh, unzip it and just double click the icon. I pinned mine to my start bar because in order for this to work, it has to be running in the background. So I can, if I close this and I close the little um, window behind it, um, which is the kind of MS-DOS prompt, it shuts down the listener and it disconnects from like the net. So uh, it has to be running in the background for it to sync because of course, if it's not running in the background, how could it possibly sync? It doesn't know what's going on. So what I want to do here is I just set this up like there's nothing else going on. All I did is remove that stupid default folder. That's all I've done to this so far is remove the default folder. I want to come over here to Actions, and I want to click Show ID, and I want to click Copy. Okay. Now I'm going to move this out of my way, and I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to say Add Remote Device. 
I want to paste my device ID in that, and I'm going to call this Windows. That's the device name. And I'm going to come over here to sharing, and I'm going to want to push my shared folder to it. That's the folder in the background. Let's click Save. Cool. Now I'm going to come over here to my Windows machine, like this. And now we're going to get this new pop-up. It says, hey, this device, TrueNOS, and this is the device identifier, uh, wants to connect with you. Do you want to allow it to connect? And I say, yes, I want to add device. And this is the device name. Cool. Now it's saying, hey, this is trying to share a folder with you. Do you want to add that folder? Yes, I do. So where do I want to put that folder? I want to put this right on my C drive. Like that. I want to save it. Just like that. It says up to date. So now I have one file here. And one file has been synced. And this is the last thing that it did. So let's come over here to my C drive. This is my data folder. And there's my base row.yaml. Check that out. Let's do something else. Let's create a new file here. Mm, how do I do that? I've done this in Windows in forever. Let's do a new text document. This is going to be test. And I'm going to come over here like that. Drag this over here. I'm going to say, this is a test file. Save that. Now that's saved. I'm going to click out of that. And there's my test file. Come back in here. It now has two files. Let's drag this out of the way. And now here's my data folder here. Look at that. Two files on my TrueNOS machine. So let's go to TrueNOS. Let's come in here to my shell. And let's see what's in this folder. Look at that. There's my test.txt. Let's cat that. There it is. This is a test file. So there you go. That's how you see it work. Now, again, I'm using these small these small files, but if you already have existing folders and you have a ton of data in them, sync thing is just going to swap them back and forth in the background. And I'm going to show you one thing that you're going to want to know about before this. So let's look at my folder. Let's come over here to advanced. This is the most important thing you're going to want to change for all of these things up here um, is going to be whether or not you want to be a send or receive. So Send and receive means if I do it on one computer, I want it to reflect on the other. So whether I do it on Windows, it should sync back to TrueNOS. And if I do it on TrueNOS, it should sync back to Windows. But for my true, this is my TrueNOS machine that I'm looking at. If I say send only, what this is going to do is just like it says here, if I make a change on TrueNOS, it'll push it to Windows. But if I make a change on Windows, it won't push it to TrueNOS. Consequently, if I do a receive only, if I make a change on TrueNOS, it won't change Windows. But if I change something in Windows, it'll change it on TrueNOS. So just make sure you know which one you want. If I usually do send and receive. It makes it the easiest. It keeps everything the same across all the folders that are in the, in the group. Uh, that's super simple. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things here. You can do permissions, for example, and ownership and these kinds of things. If you have um, permissions issues where you have things that have very specific and needs for ownership or anything like that, you could absolutely make some changes down here. There's some great help. There's cool explanations here. Um, all these things will tell you exactly what it does. Just like send and receive. When I click the send only, it tells exactly what it does. It's really cool. So I'm just going to close this without making any changes. But that's sync thing. So you can set this up on more than just two computers uh, and just keep folders synced across all of them. I think it's a really cool way to do it. Uh, you'll see all your remote devices connected here. You can add as many remote devices as you want. You can stop syncing for any reason if you want. You can add more folders if you want. It does a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, if you haven't used sync thing before, give it a shot.